This is the walkthrough for the purple zone mathematics area. The reason it's called that is because we're going to find the counting cube in this area. To get there, you have to go through this purple door at the observatory, and that will take you here. Now to start making your way up top, you have to turn this handle right here. Um, this is actually the more difficult way to do it. There's an easier way. I'll show you after I take forever to do it this way. See, after all the things rotate, you can just jump up all the way without turning the handle. And this is a little bit easier. So I advise doing that. And to get this platform to go up, you just have to briefly switch it over. And it will pop you up. Now we're going to go into the Tetris door and you're going to jump off of here twice because it's a secret code. No, not really. But actually this room will tell you how to read the Tetris code. After you've done some magnificent platforming like I have just done, you can go up here and this will teach you what all of the buttons mean. So. Just take a second here to, you know, write down whatever you need. And then you can make your way over to the code and put in the code. You read the code by tilting your head to the right whenever you're looking at the stones. And then it becomes clear that that's how it shows up whenever you input the buttons. And that's it. So input up A, right trigger, left trigger, A down, left trigger, right trigger, and you'll get yourself an anti-cube. Alright, and there's also an owl here, you just have to wait for the night to come. Just talk to the owl. Now, you don't have to get the owl, but it'll increase your completion percentage if you do. And we're gonna go through this door to get the writing cube. Nothing complicated in here. You can just like explore around, look around. Just have to go through the other door that's available. And this room just rotate around and you'll find yourself the counting cube. And that's it for this area.